Hello and welcome to this Blender quick tip. In this quick tip I'm going to be showing you how you can join two edge rings together on different meshes. Um, this is actually a tutorial request I got a few weeks ago but because of school I didn't have much time on my hands and I couldn't do it then. So I've decided I'm going to do it now and yeah. So I'm going to be showing you three different techniques and I'm going to also be explaining when you would use what technique so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. In this first technique I'm going to be showing you how you can merge two vertex rings and I'm going to be referring to these vertex vertices as vertex rings so I'm going to show you how you can merge two vertex rings that have an equal amount of vertices on them so this has 16 vertices and this also has 16 vertices and to select them all with one click you would just go alt and then right click on a vertex on the line on the edge here to select that whole vertex ring and then you would hold down shift alt right click here to get that vertex ring also and now all we would do is very simple just press w and bridge to edge loops and as you can see it's created a very nice even it's merged them successfully so it's all nice uh, but this technique only works if there's equal amounts of vertices on each ring so for example if I were to suddenly go and delete those vertices and just go and join them there and now this is a 15 sided cylinder and this is a 16 sided if I were to go W, bevel to edge loops, it will complain, selected loops must have an equal edge count. And that's because this is 15 sided and that's 16 sided. And it basically can't find out where that must go, where this vert 6 must go. So that's it for technique 1. In the second technique, I'm going to be showing you how you can join two vertex rings that have different vertex counts. This technique can be sloppy um, and it sometimes only works in certain situations while in others it won't work at all. So I'll show you how you will join this square basically of the cube to this 16 sided vertex ring. So I'll alt right click this square and alt right click the 16 sided vertex ring. And what I'll basically do then is go press alt F and you can see that it's mer it's joined the two it's filled the gap and it's used triangles so this method so it's worked nicely here it's done its job it as I said it is going to be a bit sloppy so if I add a subsurf modifier it's not the prettiest but yes as I said it is a bit sloppy so now I'm going to show you where it won't work and I don't have a clue why it might be a bug or I'm not sure but this is just one of the times I found it doesn't work and it's if I try to join a 16 sided vertex ring to a 32 sided vertex ring so I've just alt right clicked these rings and now if I go alt F you'll see it's only done this side I don't have a clue why why it does that or anything but it just does might be a bug and if you go and so there I just pressed alt J which is tries to quads and it will just clean up a few of those triangles and reduce the triangles but it still it hasn't covered the whole ring okay and that's where it won't work so this technique is nice if you want to do like low poly modeling and you're not going to use subsurf modifiers or anything like that and you just want a quick rough result and that's it for technique number two in this last technique I'm going to be showing you how you will I'll basically be demonstrating how you will manually connect the vertices um, join the two vertex rings so here I have a Suzanne head which has 16 vertices and I have a cylinder which has 25 okay 
So now I want to mesh. I want to join these. So what I'd basically do is I would do it manually. So I'd go, okay, I want to join those and form a triangle. Maybe join those. And I want to create a flat poly, uh, quad. Quad and so I want another quad here. Triangle, triangle. Let's go with a quad. Another quad. Oops. Make sure you don't select vertices in the back, by the way. And I'm just using F to fill in these faces. So it's just shift, right clicking on the vertices I want, and then F to fill them. Let's do the back here. Seems we're going a bit skew. Whoops. So I'll do say three triangles on this side. Like that. And how many do we have left? Three and three. Perfect. And I'll just join these form quads. And there we've joined the cylinder to the back of Suzanne's head. And if you apply subsurf, let's see. Not the prettiest thing, but hey, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so that was technique three, and it's basically just doing it manually. And um, you might have to do this in many cases if your Alt F doesn't work, if technique two doesn't work, and you have different vertex counts. And then you'll just have to go in there and go through tr with trial and error try and find a solution that works. So thank you for watching my quick tip on how you can join two different vertex rings. It was fun finding out the methods myself and I hope they are useful to you. If you have any more um if you have any more methods that you would like to share, maybe just make a YouTube video or something and leave a link down in the comments and I'll check it out. But until then next time